Hello everyone. Today we will introduce ground control point function in LiDAR 360. Click the ground control point button and click OK in the pop-up window. Then you can add ground control points to improve the overall accuracy of the image project. This operation can be performed after the image project is created, but after completing a line, the software will provide some intelligent assistance, so we strongly recommend using the ground control point function after completing a line. In the new interface, click the Import button to import control point files. In the pop-up window, we need to click the Edit button to select the coordinate system used when collecting control points, which may differ from the coordinate system used for image project collection. After matching the control points with the corresponding locations, the results are saved to the DLIAEP file. When a line is rerun, the entire image project will be adjusted based on the control points, ensuring that its absolute coordinates match those of the control points. This operation improves the accuracy of the image project or provides absolute coordinates for image project without absolute coordinates. After configuring the headers, click OK and the control points will be successfully imported and displayed in red. Additionally, you can click the Add Point button to add a new row in the control point list and click the Pick Points button to perform matching in the viewer. or double-click the table to input or modify coordinate values, completing the creation of new control points. Select the control points and click the Delete Point button to delete them. Click Select Coordinate System button to reselect the coordinate system for the control points. For an image project that has completed a line after importing the control points, double-click a control point in the table and the corresponding photo will automatically display in the image viewer window, showing a large version of the photo. The predicted location of the control point will be shown as a red cross in the photo, labeled with Predict. At this point, you can click the Pick Points button and click the control point's actual location in the large photo. The large photo will display a green cross, indicating the location you confirmed for the control point. Once you complete the control point selection and save, rerunning a line will adjust the red cross to match the green one, ensuring that the key points in the image project match the ground control points. Meanwhile, the current photo in the image viewer will be highlighted with a blue border and a green square will appear in the upper right corner indicating that the photo has been corrected. Other photos containing that key point but not yet corrected will have a red square in the upper right corner. You can click on the corresponding photos with red squares to select the control point again in the large photo below, ensuring that more key points are aligned to enhance precision. Once you complete the operations for a control point, you can double-click a new control point and repeat the selection. As you match a control point across two or more photos, the predicted point's position will continuously adjust to better match your selections. The smaller the distance between the points, the better the correction. Additionally, if the photos contain markers corresponding to the control points, you can click the Detect Targets button to have the software automatically match the control points to the markers without manual input. The supported target types include black-white checkboard, circular black-white checkboard, 
two concentric circles and three concentric circles as shown below. After manually selecting points or automatically matching markers, click the Save button to save the corrected results to the current .liaep file. At this point, click the Update Alignment button to adjust the entire image project file based on the ground control points. That concludes the introduction to ground control point function. Thank you for watching.